Alright, hey guys, in the book of Ruth today, and um, finished up Judges and moved into Ruth. It's only like four chapters long, so I kind of read it in like one and a half days. Um, but this was really, I mean, I've, I've read this before and I was familiar with the story, but uh, there was one thing in particular that really jumped out at me in chapter four at the very end, but just to give you a little bit of context. Uh, Ruth was from Moab, she was not a Jew, and she had married into a Jewish family. Remember that the Jews were commanded not to do that, and um, they did it anyway. Um, and basically, they're, you know, it's, it's these two, um, two sisters living together, uh, sister-in-laws living together with their mother-in-law, and they're both married to um, the mother-in-law's sons. So, anyway, basically the husbands end up dying, and in that particular day and age, in that culture, um, if the woman was young enough, she could she could go back and, and remarry. Uh, but if not, like in the case of the mother-in-law, her name was Naomi. She's she's pretty much left without anything, uh, any way to provide for herself. She's too old to get married again, and uh, women back then didn't really work per se, so she's really kind of stuck. Um, so the mother-in-law recognizing this tells tells the, uh, the daughters that, look, you guys need to go get married and stuff and just leave me. And Ruth would not do it. She would not leave her mother-in-law. And she said, whatever happens to you happens to me. And she stayed with her. And as a result of this, the Jews really took note of, of Ruth, the fact that she was willing to sacrifice um, and have her fate be the same as Naomi's. So she did what she could, and she gleaned the field, uh, which basically means that when they're harvesting uh, the field, the things that kind of fall off the cart, so to speak, um, the book of Leviticus says that those who are doing the harvesting are not to pick those up so that the poor could come and and have that for themselves. That's called gleaning the field. So she's gleaning the field and stuff and this guy Boaz takes note of her and he recognizes her and, and says, oh, that's that, that chick Ruth and, you know, she's a, she's a good godly woman and stuff and she's take care of uh, Naomi. And uh, so she, you know, he kind of tells his guys, he's like, you know, throw throw a couple more things off the cart and so on and so forth. Make sure that she's got plenty to take care of herself. So all of this goes on. Basically, long story short, uh, Boaz, there's one other relative. Boaz is related to Naomi. So in the Levitical culture, they were supposed to, if... A brother died it was his brother's responsibility to take over his wife and to continue to allow that name to be um, to be continued on well Boaz was related he was kind of a distant relative uh, but there was one other relative that was closer uh, in relationship to Naomi so he had to offer Ruth to, to him first and the guy was all for it when he saw that, you know, he could get land, but when he found out he was going to have to take a wife, he was like, no, you know, I'm not doing that. So Boaz says, okay, well, I'll raise up Ruth, I'll give her children, and then her children will continue on her husband's name. Um, and this, this is what's really important. In the end, he takes care of her, he takes care of Naomi, they have children, and so on and so forth. But the most important part of this is, is found in verse 17, and it said, And the woman and her neighbors gave it a name. So Ruth, is ha or, uh, yeah, Ruth has a child, and it says, The woman's neighbors gave it a name, saying, This is the son born to Naomi, the grandson, born to Naomi, and his name is Obed, and he is the father of Jesse, and of David. And then it goes on from there and it gives the, um, the lineage, you know, from, from Perez all the way up to David through Boaz and through their son, Obed. Now, this is extremely important because 
once again in Romans 8.28, all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. God uses all the things that go on. Even the fact that the son had married outside of outside of the commandment of God and had married this Moabite woman, God still used his sin and in the end turned it around and made it something good. In fact, made it something great because it was from the line of David that we have Jesus. So, I thought that was, um, that was pretty amazing how God used that whole circumstance. Um, had even used sin in the end as the ultimate redemptive work uh, for mankind. So, anyway, God bless.